Today is August 16th, the pastor is saying to us, the place of power and authority. Our opening scripture comes to the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 to 6. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ, by grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. According to the Bible, when Jesus ascended to heaven and sat on the right hand of power, the right hand of God, we were in him. So we are seated together with him in the place of power and authority. That's why he gave us his name to live by, to use in the earth, because in heaven he represents us. We stand in Jesus' stead and enforce the will of the Father here on earth. But in heaven, we answer his name. You got to use the name of Jesus. Colossians chapter 3 verse 17 says, And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Imagine what victory you'd have if you lived in the name of Jesus. The forces or elements of this world may want to exert their negativities on you and get you to believe or act contrary to the word but you have to dominate them in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what infirmities try to ravage your body. Place your hand over it and command it to leave your body in the name of Jesus Christ. As a watchman over your body, give no place to sickness in your body. Jesus said in Mark chapter 16, verses 17 to 18, and these signs shall follow them that believe. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Jesus said, heal the sick, mm -hmm. cleanse the lepers, mm -hmm. raise the dead, mm -hmm. cast out demons. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Therefore, exercise your authority and dominion in Christ over sickness, disease, death, and the elements of this world. Please say this confession with me. I'm seated with Christ in the place of power, dominion, and majesty and in a position of authority. I give no room for darkness, sickness, defeat, and pain, for I dwell in a place of absolute mastery in Christ Jesus, and I've overcome the world. Hallelujah. To further study, please read Luke chapter 10, verse 19 of the Amplified Classic, and Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 to 6. The one your Bible reading plan, please read 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and Psalms chapters 104 to 106. For the two year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 16, verses 19 to 31, and 1 Samuel chapter 1. Rhapsody of reality.